So I'm Martin BC, and um, I want to talk about my new album, Sirens of the Apocalypse. This is where I recorded it in my studio in Brooklyn, New York. And you'll notice that there's two topless women in an apocalyptic landscape right there for you. And um, I guess the reason it makes sense is that uh, a lot of the songs are about different kinds of women. The single's called Goth Chick 98. The background of the song is thinking about people generally that I know that have sort of, you know, very dark personalities, dark thinking, you know, maybe a little pessimistic, a little over dramatic about things. Goth Chick has a lot of like street performing friends. So I went down to um, South Street Seaport. It's the, the area where all the street performers hang out in lower Manhattan and uh, found people to help me. They perform in the video. We do the show live. Um, in New York, at least, I try to get some of the street performers in on the show. So in the song, in the, in the booklet, here is Goth Chick, as done by, as done by Ego Sensation. This is her room, and uh, you can see how she's like, she's definitely macabre, and it's awesome. Here she is too. After we do the photo shoot, I get a, I get the photo, um, blown up. And then with like clear plastic, I scribbled over the photos, the lyrics. In a weird way, that's a lot how my album is. It's like a, a rock band doing like these different kind of styles and genres. And then since I'm, as I told you, kind of a bit of a, a studio rat, I screwed around a lot in the studio. There's a lot of screwing around on the record. So it's a lot like what I did with the artwork, you know, visually. Another song that's important is Rock Mona Lisa. Rock Mona Lisa is the complete opposite of goth chick. So here she is, the heavy metal chick, laughing, laughing her way through life, as opposed to like, you know, crying in a way. So she's very positive. Just the title song is Sirens of the Apocalypse. That's a very epic kind of song. I relate it to the myth of the sirens. And I, and I, I actually, it's funny, because really thinking about the myth of the sirens and living my life today, I understand why someone would over-dramatize these you know, women that will kind of, you know, rip your soul in half and, you know, make you want to, like, jump off of a ship and drown. I got a lot of my female friends to actually sing the song with me, so it's a bit of a choir. Um, I mean, some of the lyrics are like, you know, we're going to shred your souls to the bone. Because, you know, it's, it's pretty damn brutal, you know, out there.